It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Tesco have released a few more craft beers onto their supermarket shelves. Um, we reviewed North. It was I, I could only get it. Get it? Should I say not get it? I could I could only get it um, in the Tesco Western Avenue, the big, massive, massive Tesco store um, near the Heath Hospital in Cardiff. And they didn't have South for a little while. I've had to wait about 10 days to pick up South. But here it is. It's a South-North collaboration. Um, so Northern Monk did the, the North. And now this is the South. And this is being brewed by... Sta <coughs> Pardon me, not them. Um, Staggeringly Good. Brewed by Numbers and Yonder. Uh, Pavlova Pastry Sour. 6% ABV. I'm going to be honest with you straight away, just in case you may want to turn off right now. But um, I'm not sure already on the style of beer. And I just want to put that out to you because I don't want people kind of, I don't want to waste anybody's time. Um, I'm not a massive fan of these pastry beers. Um, all I'm hoping is that it's really sour. It's got a really good sourness to it. If it's just thick and gloopy like a milkshake with a little bit of citrusiness that's trying to pass off as sourness, then I'm really not gonna like this beer. So I put it out there straight away, just in case I don't wanna waste anybody's time. But talking about wasting people's time, let's get this beer out, let's get, get on with it, shall we? Let's get it out into a glass and see what we get. I'm not a massive traditionalist. I don't like to think myself as a, when it comes to beer, as one of those stuffy old beer drinkers that only likes to drink kind of traditional styles of beer. Because I'm not one of those. I like Imperial Stouts and Porters and Saisons and IPAs, New England IPAs, Session IPAs, you know, all that normal stuff. Belgian sours, you know, your classic kind of boom, boom, creek, gers, mariage, parfait up there. That's, that's my idea of a proper sour beer. But we'll give this a chance. We'll give this a chance. I picked it up. It cost me about three pounds for the can. It's got a one finger white head. The head sticking around already is make, making me slightly jittery. Normally with a sour beer, the head dissipates very, very quickly on the beer. Um, I'm not trying to be negative, I'm just giving it to you as I should really, and that's just pure honesty. Um, it's a, it looks like a juice, doesn't it? It looks like a, it could be banana and raspberry and cherry and blueberry, all blended in a blender and poured into a glass um, with some carbonation though. There's definitely a little bit of carbonation there. Uh, let's get the aroma on this very hazy, smoothy, juicy looking beer. Uh, smells. See, the problem is when brewers choose to brew with lactose. For me, it dulls the flavour. It immediately... It has a dulling effect on the beer. It doesn't make the beer really inviting. This should be, looking at it, this should be really, really juicy on the aroma. It should be pumping with, with fruit at me. But Yeah, like almost like a wet cardboard, dull kind of. Maybe a little bit of blueberry coming through. But the truth is always in the tasting. Let's 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 give this a chance. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody.
Ah, oh, it's uh, uh, north versus south. Uh, north winds. Uh, straight off the bat, north winds straight away. The the, the northern monk beer. Um, it was terrific. It was with um, the Nottingham Brewery. Who were they called? Were they staggeringly good? No, they're stagger staggeringly good on the side of this can. What were they called? Neon Raptor. Neon Raptor. And there was another company involved as well who did the collaboration. But that was more of an IPA. And that was lovely. That was really, really lovely. Um, Yonder. No surprise at all. Um, Yonder brought out a range of beers um, last year. They actually sent us some beers. Um, it was, they made a carrot goes. Um, an ordinary bitter they, they made, which was brilliant, really good. And of course, I've had some. I've had some of the stagger really good beers. There's, there's some in the fridge. There. There's one there. Uh, there's another one there. Uh, little arms, big ambitions. I've had a few of their beers. Stagger really good. Uh, they're based in Portsmouth. Uh, their IPAs are really good. Really good brewery. And brew by numbers. Brew by numbers. Um, I've I've not had a brew by numbers beer uh, in in a long time. But I, again, it was one of these breweries which I, I I enjoyed. I enjoyed. But but this as an idea, as a as a this is going to beat the north. Not a chance. Not a chance. I understand there's going to be people who like this beer. There will be a section of the beer drinking society that really enjoys this beer because it's not a traditional kind of style of beer it's not a, it's not an ipa it's not a a nipa it's none of those things it's a pastry sour for me it's overly sweet it's a little bit of blueberry coming through but sour, really sour, not a chance, not a sniff, not a sniff of sourness. And I'm surprised it's taken me that long to get onto this subject of actually there's no, there's no sour taste of this beer. There's just no sour taste of this. It's just drinking like a juice. And if I want to drink juice of this kind of... In this format, if I want to drink juice in this format, I'll buy a carton of mixed fruit juice, I'll put a drop of vodka in the bottom of a glass, and I'll fill the glass with this with this tropical fruit juice. And I'll have a vodka fruit juice drink if I want to do that. But I don't want to do that. I'm not interested in doing that. And, and nor should breweries be interested in brewing stuff like this because it's just not very good i mentioned at the start of the review if people are shaking their heads at this stage of the review i did mention at the start of the review i probably wasn't going to like this beer it turns out to be true um for the people who've hung on for this review i hope that i've not wasted your time um i can only be honest if i stood here like mr cardboard cutout man and and just went on about how much I love this beer and you can see that my mouth's going and there's no real passion in my eyes then you know I'm I'm not really interested in this beer at all and and that you, you may as well be watching a cardboard cut out the very fact that I'm standing here saying look I just don't like this beer um might prove to be slightly controversial but at the same time yeah, I'm just going to be honest with, with myself and to be honest with you guys. If if I wasn't reviewing this beer, then I wouldn't have bought it. I would have picked it up off the Tesco shelf. I would have gone, yeah, Pavlova, pastry, sour. And I would have put it straight back on the shelf. I wouldn't have bought it. Um, it's not for me. It's not for me. To represent the South... Brew by Numbers in London have teamed up with Yonder from Somerset 
and Staggeringly Good from Portsmouth. All three breweries share the same passion for heavily fruited beers, combining their own expertise to craft a pavlova-inspired sour beer. The resulting beer is stacked with raspberry, blueberry and passion fruit, and it's a perfect balance between dessert sweetness and fruity acidity. Maybe they need to come up with a different name. I understand if they're passionate about heavily fruited beers, but please don't call it a sour. Please don't call it a sour, because it's a million miles away from being a sour beer. It's not sour in the slightest. You're doing a disservice. You're doing a complete disservice to, to, to Belgian beers if, if you're going to carry on using that sour name. Call it, on the back of the can, you've called it a heavily fruited beer. Why don't you call it a Pavlova pastry heavily fruited beer on the front of the can? Why do you carry on insisting on using this word sour when there's just not a touch of sourness in this beer? I'm getting to the point now where I'm getting angry and I don't like to get angry in my beer reviews anymore because just I'm done it's terrible 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 beer two out of ten two out of ten from me love craft beer please put your comments in the comments box subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.